back over today's trip of a mile and a quarter, 85 yards, but they break away for the Judmon International and through the first furlong, Ruby Tiger Massad uh, racing fast. Zoman up with the pace. Al Nasser Al Wishik runs a rail. Terry Mons in there. Seattle Rhyme is tucked off the pace, and so too is Rodrigo de Triano and Coyonga normally held up She's in the last three. Quite closely grouped, the pace strong as they go through the first uh, furlong so, and it's Al Nasser Al Wishik that gains the day in the yellow jacket, the rail. Terry Mons the grey on the outside, Zoman, followed through by Bob Zeo, Dr. Devious, position five. Ruby Tiger out wide in six, all at sea, the rail seven, Massad in eight, a break of a length and a half then to the others, headed by Gussie Marlo, Kuyongas on the outside, Seattle Rhyme, and Leicester's uh, put Rodrigo to sleep in the back of the field. They pass the seven pole, and it's Al Nasser Al Wishik by length now. Two in second place, Terryman, Bob Zeo, the rail, Zerman out wide, a line of three for second place, then the Devious, uh, Dr. Devious is in five, they pass the six furlong marker, and then Ruby Tiger out wide and all at sea and Massed, and then Kuyonga and Seattle Rhyme and Gussie Marlow and Lester on Rodrigo is the trailer as they come down past the five pole, and it's Al Nasser Al Wishik, Steve Corfin out in front, Zerman just being niggled along, Bob Zeo rails well, Dr. Devious on the outside of Terryman, uh, Kuyonga's having to pull wide for room and uh, wide for a run, and they're just leaving her a little bit flat footed as Al Nasser Al Wishik on the bridle, clear by two. Here comes All at Sea with a wet sail. Dr. Devious on the outside, off the pace, and Seattle Rhyme is getting cheekily nearer. They leave the three behind them. Al Nasser Al Wishik, All at Sea, Dr. Devious, Seattle Rhyme back on song. Here comes Rodrigo Giotiano, the blue sleeve jacket with a run. Then past the two, Al Nasser Al Wishik, All at Sea. Rodrigo to Triano on the outside of Dr. Devious. Then Seattle Rhyme followed by Massad and Zerman. They race down to the final furlong, and it's Rodrigo to Triano and Lester Bigot. Pelletary All at Sea, the pink cap, but it's Rodrigo to Triano who lengthens and goes on. No scabbard down clear, he's going to see the ship out all right. Rodrigo Triano, All at Sea fighting back, but Rodrigo to Triano holds it from All at Sea second. And then in third, a photo third, Seattle Rhyme and Dr. Devious followed by Massad, Zerman, Al Nasser Al Wishik, Ruby Tiger, who was a bit disappointing, followed then by Gussie Marlowe and Terryman and Bob Zeo, and tailed off and virtually pulled up through the last furlong is the favourite Kuyonga. And so there, there is Kuyonga, who hardly got home at all, and uh, just trotted up in the last, uh, oh, half a furlong or so. And so the result then, I'm sure there'll be a steward's inquiry to this race, don't think it'll certainly won't, in my judgment, concern the winner, but they might call a steward's inquiry for determining the poor running of Koyonga. That's all in the melting pot. Let's go for the result. It's a win for number 10, Rodrigo de Triano, in the colours of Robert Sangster. This one trained by Peter Chapel Hyam and ridden by Lester Bigot, for whom he is the 24th winner of the season. And Rodrigo de Triano, American bred son of El Gran Senor, bred at the Swetland and Sturt, and well done to them. Second horse home. Well, that's number 12, all at sea. Second again under Pat Hedery in the colours of Carla de Dulla, trained at Newmarket by Henry Cecil. A close call for second place, uh, for third place, between Seattle Ryan and Dr. Devious. The highs, the lows, no one knows them better in the game of racing than Lester Piggott, and here's one of his highs. A fine performance to husband this horse home, and if you go back tonight, for those of you with a video, watch the first furlong of this race, the job was won and lost there because he gave Lester a horrible time early on. He pulled hard. Eventually, John Frankham said to me, he's got him. And going into the closing stages, having got him settled, he could use his change of pace uh, to good effect. Up front now, and all at sea, Paletary Pink Cap comes to join Steve Corth in yellow colours. Steve looks cooked against the rails. It's all at sea. But as she hits the front, she's immediately almost in trouble and off the bridle. She's pressed by Rodrigo. She doesn't give in, but he's got something she hasn't sharper turn of foot yeah she's really given her all and we saw a game of really uh, performance to finish second in the oaks but leicester's timing is absolutely immaculate put this horse's head in front and uh, he's barely known that he's had a race just as he did in the irish guineas really wonderful riding performance to watch and i think probably one of the most pleased of the trainers will be david ellsworth seattle